Welcome to the Demand Capture Module of the PAHO Member State Portal. In this video, you will see step-by-step -step how to use this tool. When you enter the ms-portal.paho.org portal in the Strategic Funds section, you will see the following. Top bar. This bar on the right side shows three options, reports, to view purchasing plan, reference dates, associated costs, and more, language section, and name of the entity for which the information will be included. If the user has access to several entities, they can select the required one. Main menu. On the left in the main menu, the demand plan is created. Step one, product selection. Which products do you want to include? To start a new plan, you can choose whether to start with a blank plan or use a previous version as a baseline. If you start with a blank plan, you will need to select which products you want to include in your planning. In therapeutic areas, you must choose the area to work in. Each plan can have different states. Initiated, PAHO opens a plan. Started, the country begins working on it. Submitted, the country sends it to its designated user for signature and formal approval. Approved, approver signs and submits the plan. Closed, the planning cycle is completed. If the status is started, you should go directly to step two. Step two, demand planning. How much in stock and how much you plan to purchase next year. From the blue bar on the left side of the screen, you can access Demand Planning. There, you can add or edit products by clicking on the shopping cart. The window to select or remove products will be open. Once the selection is complete, click Save, and the products will be loaded automatically. By clicking on each product, you will find two sections, strategic data for the process. They allow PAHO to provide data-driven quality technical cooperation and to obtain alerts along the process, as we will see below in the example. Projected average monthly demand. How much do we plan to consume next year per month? For this product, we are going to indicate 60,000 units per month. In which measure unit are we talking about? We select it in the following field, implying that all the plans for this product should be filled in this unit. Safety stock. The country must define this setting according to its standards and the criticality of the product. The default safety stock is four months, but you can modify it as required. Information can be expanded in each field. Current inventory. It is the number of units in your warehouses or system ready to be consumed, along with the date of the last inventory. Expiring products should not be included, as they may be in inadequate condition when needed. For this example, we will place 60,000 dated the first of this month. The first indicator is the estimation of the current inventory entered that would be enough for six months, which is within the acceptable range and is shown in green. If the stock level is less than the safety inventory, by removing a zero, it will be shown in red. Also, we can see the indicative stock out date below the field. If we have excess stock, adding a zero, it would indicate the estimated duration and show it in blue. Then, we must report if any amount will arrive before next year, not yet contemplated in the current inventory. By completing the necessary information, we will be able to see other indicators and alerts. How much estimated inventory, in units and months, will we end up at year-end, with the same color coding explained above? A reference quantity to purchase next year. This does not replace your estimation methodology, but gives both PAHO and you an idea of the magnitude to be procured. Strategic Fund Procurement Data How much will be requested through the strategic fund for the next year by semester? This value is critical to consolidate demand across the region for this period. 
Here, we will look at three indicators, the addition of both periods totaling the annual demand, the total reference cost, which represents the product's unit price, excluding freight, insurance, or service costs, for the number of units, a comparison of the system's reference quantity with what was requested, and if it is significantly different, it will raise an alert. For example, an alert will be displayed if we enter X units for the first semester and the quantity is significantly higher than the reference quantity. This is intended to minimize errors and help plan validation. It will allow the requester and PAHO to analyze whether the alert is due to a typing error or whether the quantity is correct. The process allows you to comment on each plan or product and communicate with the technical experts and the strategic fund team. To leave a comment, you will find a text box below the respective screens and then click on the Save Comment button. A text bubble icon with a number will appear, indicating the number of comments for that product or plan. The comment can be marked as important. Step 3. Procurement Plan Approval Here, you will see the summary of the quantity requested per product and the reference costs for each plan when available. Prices are in US dollars and do not include freight, insurance, or PAHO service. The information is shown annually and semi-annually. On this screen, you can download the demand plan in an Excel document. You will have the option to exit or submit. By submitting, the plan goes to the user designated as the approver, who must sign it and conclude this stage of the process. This locks the plan so that it cannot be modified. A plan in submitted status can be edited by selecting the Reopen button before approval. The user can approve the plan manually, with or without a certificate. Once signed and submitted, the status will change to Approved, and no modifications will be allowed, although the history can be viewed. Only comments will be allowed. Do not hesitate to contact the Demand Plan Administrator at PAHO to make necessary adjustments. Step 4. Monitoring and tracking the process to know the inputs are arriving on time. Here, we will include new functionalities to evaluate the status of your orders. Currently, you can have reports with reference dates that must be met so that the products arrive when needed. Soon, you will be able to have an order traceability system and a tool for data analysis regarding your purchases. Thank you for choosing PAHO Strategic Fund.